Hi Virgo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of April 24th through the 30th. This is for Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising Signs. Very interesting spread, Virgo. At the bottom of the deck, I do have judgment. All right, so judgment does represent recovery, rebirth, you rising up from some sort of um, difficulties, Virgo. So this is very interesting. Judgment is also a healing energy. It is a karmic energy. Um, for some of you, maybe you have to make a, a judgment call or a decision. Uh, for some other Virgos, a, a decision could be very significant this week. You know, what's really interesting, Virgo, is the overall energy is the Three of Swords. So there certainly could be some Virgos that you just went through some sort of loss, some sort of heartache. Um, but with judgment here, you're literally rising up from this. You are healing, you are overcoming whatever this is. Now, the Three of Swords, for some of you, could be a difficult situation involving three people. This could be a love triangle, but not necessarily. This could be, you know, any situation involving three people. There could be some Virgos that maybe you feel torn. Um, this could be a difficult situation, and maybe you need to make a decision here. I'm just seeing what I'm getting here, Virgo. For some of you, a relationship is definitely very significant. So if this is a relationship that has ended, for some of you, um, you know, I see you maybe moving towards reconciling here with judgment. You know, this could be for some of you that, you know, this is in regards to a relationship coming to an end. Uh, you possibly might be actually uh, giving it another go um, with judgment here. This can be like a second chance. Uh, now, I did pull an additional clarifying card, and we do have the Eight of Swords. So a lot of mental energy here, Virgo, definitely needing to stay out of your mind, needing to keep yourself focused on positive things, positive matters. This is someone who's really, really in their mind. You're worrying too much. For some of you, you're worrying unnecessarily. Uh, fearing the worst. Um, for other Virgos, this is you too scared to move forward with something. Um, with the Eight of Swords, this is a self-restricting sort of energy. So there could be some Virgos that you're holding yourself back in some way uh, due to some nervous energy, some fear, some worries, some anxieties. Um, with the Three of Swords here, you know, yes, this can be loss and heartache, of course. Uh, this could be a relationship that ended Maybe you're moving towards giving it a second chance. Um, but with the Three of Swords, it also can be mental frustration. It can be a really, really disappointed, disappointing sort of energy. So for some of you, maybe you're trying to manifest something um, and you could be dealing with some you know, mental frustration, uh, a lot of confusion maybe around a particular matter. And for some of you, this, this can be a, a situation involving three people. Um, but I do see many of you actually moving away from this. We have the Six of Swords here, which is uh, you moving from stormy waters to much more calmer waters, especially with judgment here. There's some sort of recovery. There is this healing that's coming in. But this is you moving towards peace of mind and, and moving towards, you know, things actually maybe balancing out, things improving. Sixes represent a more harmonizing energy. Uh, and you do have a couple of sixes here in this spread. So if this is a relationship that maybe, you know, has had its difficulties, it could have ended. Again, some of you are going to give it another go and maybe try again. Um, we have the Six of Swords moving directly towards the Emperor here. So this is quite interesting. So for some, for some of you, you might be in a relationship with an older gentleman with the Emperor here. This is a very stable man. It, it, he's normally someone who's very accomplished. So this can be a business owner, someone who runs a company. But this is someone who's very, very successful, someone who's very stable. Um, so for some of you, you could be moving towards this character here. 
but then also, you know, for some other Virgos, this is you moving towards uh, more stability in your life. So if this has been, you know, a situation that's been difficult, you could have felt like a lack of maybe stability in your life. This is you actually moving towards um, feeling more stable, but the emperor is also an empowering energy. So for some of you, this is you maybe um, taking back your power in some way. This is what you're moving towards. Um, so this is you becoming more empowered. Uh, and this definitely could be, you know, on the relationship front because underneath the emperor, we have the two of cups here. So for some of you, this is definitely a romantic partnership, a marriage, uh, a romantic relationship that's very significant. But for some other Virgos, this could be a business partnership. This could be a family relationship. There's a partnership or a relationship that's quite significant here. Um, for some of you, you certainly could be getting into a relationship with an emperor, with this very stable individual. Now, uh, this could be an Aries, but it also could be a Taurus as well. Um, Taurus is coming through very strongly, but then Aries is coming through very strongly as well. So for some of you, it might be an Aries. For other uh, Virgos, it might be a Taurus individual. Now, uh, this could be some news or communication that's coming in with the Page of Swords here news communication could be very significant um, for those of you that maybe a relationship has just ended or you might be single and maybe you're waiting on this other person I see very focused on this relationship and with the page of swords here you definitely could be keeping your eye on someone so there are going to be some Virgos that maybe you're watching your partner or watching the person that you're crushing on, the person that maybe you're moving towards, getting into a relationship with. Um, swords rule the internet, so this could be, you know, you watching this person through social media, Facebook or something like that. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but for some of you that's definitely how you're gonna relate to these, to these energies. Uh, for other Virgos, I see very, very focused on this relationship, this partnership, and maybe there's a lot of confusion surrounding this, this situation or this relationship. Uh, for some of you, you might have been married. You might have already been in, been in a relationship with someone and you could have met someone else or you met someone who is maybe connected to someone else, maybe they're married. It could be a, a difficult situation like that and there could be a lot of confusion surrounding this. Um, but I do see you moving towards closure when it comes to this. Uh, we do have the Six of Cups here, which represents something from the past or someone from the past that's relevant this week. For some of you, this is some sort of closure. Uh, and it could be closure on the relationship front. We have the Six of Cups with the Hierophant here. So for some of you, this is maybe some sort of closure that's coming to you. For those of you that this is on the job front and this you can't really relate to these messages on the relationship front, this could be something from the past. Um, you could have been waiting on your boss with the emperor here. This could be your boss with the Hierophant. This could be the, the company that you work for. For some of you, you're waiting on maybe some news or some communication um, from your employer. So maybe you've applied for a certain position. Maybe you're trying to move up within that company. And this could be you waiting with the hanged man. I think that you're waiting on this enlightenment, waiting on that news or waiting on that, on that communication with a page of swords. Sometimes this can represent delayed communication. So um, this, the good news is with the hanged man, uh, when you get the hanged man, this is just a temporary energy. So for some of you, this is not going to last very long. You could be dealing with some delays, um, but it is a good time to take a break, to spend some time alone and take a step back. For some of you, this is just minor arcana energy here that you can actually ease this energy, if not change it, by maybe taking a step back and looking at, at this from a different perspective. We have the hanged man looking directly at this three of swords and the eight of swords. So for some of you, you very much need to take a step back and look at the larger picture. You need to see something from a different perspective. And what's interesting is on the other side of the hanged man, I have the queen of wands, which is the opposite. She's someone who's incredibly optimistic, someone who's very, very positive. 
So for some of you, this is the energy that I feel you're going to have towards the end of the week here. You are taking a step back. You are seeing things from a different perspective. And this is you having a more positive outlook. You definitely need to keep the faith with the Hierophant on top of the Queen of Wands. You definitely need to keep the faith. You are moving towards um, peace of mind. You are moving towards calmer waters. I think that some of you have been dealing with a difficult situation, but things are about to improve for you. Uh, there could be some Virgos that you need to make a decision. You might need to make a decision. This could be, you know, with a work matter. Um, but also this, for some of you, this is on the relationship front. So you might need to make a decision. There could be a small number of Virgos that maybe you're waiting on a divorce to be final. It's a good week to honestly take some you time, but also if you have children, focus on your children. I'm just seeing what else I'm getting here. For those of you that are single or maybe, you know, you're in this difficult situation involving three people, it could be a love triangle, you literally just need to hang in there. Um, things are going to work out. Uh, so if you're a Virgo that is moving towards getting into a new relationship, however, you know, that, you know, resonates with you. If you're a Virgo that's moving towards getting into a new relationship, I actually see this being a wonderful relationship. Uh, potentially this could lead to marriage, but this is going to be a more traditional relationship and with the Six of Cups here, uh, the Six of Cups is my, my soulmate card. Uh, and we do have the Two of Cups here as well. Um, so for some of you, you could be moving towards getting into a relationship with a soulmate. But also the Six of Cups um, really represents a relationship that you can truly be yourself with the other person. Um, so honestly, really having a lot of fun. I feel like this is going to be a really good match for you for those Virgos that you're moving towards getting into a relationship. Um, there also could be a small number of Virgos that maybe you have something going on with the government uh, or this could be like a legal matter and I think that you're waiting on some sort of closure, waiting on some sort of uh, communication to come through, um, but you need to keep the faith, you need to remain positive, it's coming with judgment here. Uh, you are literally rising up from all of this, Virgo. Yep, see, a decision is very significant. I just had the Vanessa card pop out. To make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? Which way takes me away from it? So a decision is very, very significant this week, Virgo. For some Virgos, you need to make a decision. Uh, you need to get grounded, and then you really need to go within. You need to listen to your intuition when making a decision. For some of you, you definitely need to take some some alone time here uh, and maybe make a decision. Okay, Virgo? So uh, financially, I'm not getting that it's going to be a bad week for you. I actually feel like it's going to be a really good week for many of you. Emotionally, it could be a little bit more of an emotional week, but um, you know, I don't see it being a bad week for you. I do see many of you healing and overcoming maybe a difficult situation. You are rising up from all of this. Uh, for some of you, I see you healing and actually moving towards peace of mind. Uh, so Virgo, I do hope that you found this reading helpful and I do wish you a wonderful week. Take care.